So you want to create the ref sheet, don't you? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do it. So one of the key parts of making a ref sheet is actually putting the OC on it, which I did here. And any little bits of information you can put under it or somewhere close to it. And if you're drawing, if and, there's, and if there's a part that you constantly mess up on, draw a model of it so you can reference back to it for when you're drawing it. That's why it's called a reference sheet. So yeah, so I mess up constantly on the legs, so I put it here. And for the tail, it's a very intricate design, so I drew that too. Now, if you have a second OC, and maybe they're brothers or sisters or something, I recommend putting on the same page, unless the, unless your original one has, like, a bunch of, like, details. Like, say they have, like, ribbons and stuff, like, coming out of their head, I don't know. So, the more details there are, the more space the rough sheet's going to take up. But since mine isn't very complicated, I was able to do two, which is my other one. Same rules go for here, but this one has more details. It has a head, a head piece, which is, which isn't very clear just by looking right here. The wings, which same thing goes for the wings here too. And the tail, which you can't really see. These is all just so these are all just so you know how to draw it the next time. It's called a reference sheet. You're allowed to use it.